good afternoon dear students hope you all are fine now as you all know i have started your chapter first and second chapter i already completed and i uh, just the last week i taught energy i started your energy chapter and in energy i explain these terms you can see these terms i have written in the black board now see first you have read ki what is your energy and all of you knows about this energy is totally depend on your work ki which work you are doing according to your capacity according to your energy because of capacity to doing work this is called your energy okay so energy is equals to your work okay and work i explain also work ki what is work normally aap jo bhi aap kaam karte hain okay this is define your work and when you will say ki i have done this work when a force is applied on a given object ki jo bhi aapke paas object hai any body you have and you are applying a force on a given body and the body move from one place to the another place it means it measure a particularly distance it means for example suppose this is a ball okay this is a object and this is a ball now you are pushing a force you are pulling okay you are pushing a ball when you are pushing a ball then after some time you will observe the condition of a ball is here ki after some time the ball reach in this place it means what is your work you are applying a force आपने क्या किया इसको पुश किया एंड पुश एंड पुल ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड योर फोर्स कि आपने क्या लगाया फोर्स लगाया पुश किया उसे और फोर्स लगाने के बाद आपको क्या रिजल्ट मिला दैट द बॉडी मूव फ्रॉम हियर टू देयर इट मींस इट मेजर अ डिस्टेंस पर्टिकुलरली डिस्टेंस मेजर की देन यू विल से कि यू हैव डन द वर्क ओके सो बाय दिस work formula will be force multiply by distance move from the given direction ki jis direction mein aapne force lagaya ball ko ball us side ko kya kar gayi move kar gayi that's why ki work will be force multiply by distance move from the given object so now the next term when work work does not done when kab work done nahi hoga when the displacement or a distance will be zero when the displacement will be zero you are applying a force but body is not moving suppose you are kicking you are pushing a ball aap push kar rahe hain ball ko aapne ball ko jab push kiya then you are applying a force but there will be no displacement no distance no distance it means the ball is, uh, the ball is not moving obviously ball is a rigid portion ball in the sense of deval okay then ball is a rigid portion that's why ki ball uh, ball cannot be moved okay then in that situation the displacement will be zero okay and i have written the formula ki work equals to force multiplied by distance moved in the direction and by mathematically ki work equals to force multiplied by distance yes or no then all of you knows about this ki if one term in case of a multiply will be zero then you will get zero because zero ko aap kisi bhi number ke sath multiply karenge then always you will get a zero yes or no 1 into 0 0 1 lakh into 0 0 clear so force into zero because of aapne ball ko push kiya but but ball is not moving wall is in a stationary situation because of wall is a rigid condition okay then force into zero it means zero then in that situation work should be not done so work ke liye kya kya zaruri hai force as well as distance clear all of you now the next one is a unit of work now the force unit is newton and distance distance is a length so length or a distance unit is meter and newton into meter equals to joule okay so standard unit joule or sometimes in the numerical portion newton meter is given so be aware that 
कि वन जूल यू कैन डिफाइन एज अ न्यूटन इन टू मीटर क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू सो अकॉर्डिंग टू योर बुक यू हैव गिवन वन जूल ऑल्सो कि हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन वन जूल ऑफ अ बॉडी ओके देन वन जूल इज डिफाइन वन न्यूटन इन टू वन मीटर इट मीन्स वेन यू आर अप्लाइंग अ वन न्यूटन फोर्स आप जब वन न्यूटन का फोर्स अप्लाई कर रहे हैं देन द बॉडी मेजर अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर दैट्स वाई यू कैन से वर्क इज वन जूल ओके सो वन जूल इज डिफाइंड एज अ वन न्यूटन फोर्स इज अप्लाइड ऑन अ गिवन ऑब्जेक्ट देन द बॉडी मूव एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू सो यूनिट ऑफ अ वर्क इज न्यूटन इन टू मीटर इक्वल्स टू जूल नाउ द नेक्स्ट पोर्शन की वॉट इज योर एनर्जी बिफोर एनर्जी आई एक्सप्लेन वर्क येस अ नो एंड वाई बिकॉज ऑफ एनर्जी इज टोटली डिपेंड ऑन योर वर्क जितना आप वर्क करते हैं जितना आप अपना काम करते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कैपेसिटी ऑब्वियसली मैं आपको ये नहीं बोल सकती कि आप एक थाउजेंड uh, टन का वेट उठाओ बिकॉज इट इज नॉट योर कैपेसिटी so you all are doing your work according to your capacity that's the reason ki work is equals to your energy and that is the reason ki energy unit is also be joule okay and the another unit is energy is calorie have you read na i have written earlier i send you a video in that video i mentioned ki calorie unit calories are other another unit is joule and one calorie 4.2 joule this is a relation between calorie and joule in your book in your book there is a mention ki one calorie equals to 4.2 joule and just remember this relation ki one calorie and the same as ki one kilo calorie the same concept kilo kilo is add with calorie then multiply with 1000 because of 1 km equals to 1000 m then the same as ki 1 kilo calorie equals to 4.2 into 1000 j clear of you